I think in short it would be anarchy. So we'd have model files stored in folders, probably in people's home directories. Um, and even if we were able to manage them within sort of a centralised location, there'd just be no control over who could change what and when. And the record of what was changed and when would just be non-existent or very difficult to track. You'd be reverting to spreadsheets and it would just be, uh, it'd be non impossible to manage. I'm the Mechanical Design Engineer Team Lead here at Sirius Power and I'm responsible for managing the CAD designers' uh, work activities and also overseeing the tool implementation, so Creo and also DDM, and then any sort of workflow updates and management of the DDM tool. So DDM's installed on every PC in the business, basically. So it touches every aspect of the business and everybody has access to it. Everybody can interrogate the CAD data, uh, drawing specifications. We use DDM to manage our non-conformances. So the quality department use it for raising concessions. It goes through the approval workflows across the business. We use it for managing changes within engineering and operations. So really, it's the, the tool is deployed fully across the business. One of the big benefits of using DDM across the business is that there is one version of the truth that everybody can access and interrogate. And one, one of the features that we use within DDM a lot is the groups and access controls as well. So we can control based on roles and permissions who can see what, who can see work in progress, uh, documents, parts, drawings, who can see only released versions. So it's, it's really a powerful tool for making sure that the right people see the right information. So I think the key advantage of DDM over the previous tools I've used is the integration of the change management system with the CAD management. So your change management system, when you're creating your engineering change requests, you're linking it directly to the primary design data that you're changing by that. Whereas if you're running separate systems, such as Intralink and a separate PDM tool, it means that you're having to manually ensure that people are linking and correctly referencing the information that's being changed, whereas that's all done through hard and soft links within DDM. Once you become familiar with DDM, it's a very easy tool to use. It doesn't take long to learn it, it's pretty straightforward. We train our people probably 30 minutes on the tool and they're up and running with it basically. So once you're using it, uh, it's got very powerful search functionality in it. it and again, I think ultimately it comes back to how customizable and you, you can make it fit pretty much any business process that you, you need it to do. It's, I think fundamentally it's a, it's a very easy tool to use. So we use Creo here and the integration with DDM is, I think, flawless. Uh, there's no issues, I think. Um, you get the occasional error message pop up, but it's normally because a user's done something incorrectly. Uh, and more often than not we can work out what we need to do in order to resolve that and where we aren't able to do that, the support that we receive from CSI is, uh, is, is first class. I think there's very few development companies where you could put a request for an enhancement in and either see it at all or see it in a pretty timely fashion. So I think the, the responsiveness of CSI to requests from customers uh, Error finding and resolution, I mean, let's face it, every piece of software will always have bugs in it, so uh, it's how responsive the company is or the, the, the development company is to try and fix those. So, uh, and again, when we look down the list of improvements, it's, it's pretty vast. So the support provided by CSI is excellent. Uh, whenever we've got questions, or whether it's we think there's a problem with the software, it normally works out we're just not using it correctly. Uh, or whether we just generally don't understand how to implement an idea that we might have and we, we can put those questions to the support team and the speed with which you get a response is really impressive. It's you know, certainly within an hour or so and you'll probably have a full answer of almost certainly within a day or so. So it's, I think that is really uh, something to be commended and it's a reason that I'm, you know, it, it makes the tool so much easier to use when you can ask questions and interrogate how something should be working. So we're currently looking at how we might implement some of the project management enhancements that have come into the recent versions of the DDM, particularly around the use of the task folders for tracking activities on project design, uh, work packages, 
And I think it would be really useful to be able to sort of apply how it's allocated and have a fairly basic tracking of the amount of time that's been spent on those activities. And again, I think the sort of red, amber, green flagging of how progress has been made against the new requirements, uh, risks, issues, I, I think that's actually going to be quite a useful thing once we've got that up and running. DDM delivers everything that I would want from a PDM tool, okay? And when I try and break that down into the sort of key elements, it's control of the CAD data, so DDM does that check, uh, workflow management, um, customizable, configurable, all these things that DDM can do. It's administratable by the, uh, the actual engineers themselves. If it needs to be, you don't need to defer the control out to IT. It's, for me, it's an excellent tool that gives me a huge amount of flexibility, but also a huge amount of control. It does all we need and more. And frankly, we, why would we be spending more on something else that doesn't do half of what this currently does? So I think, would I recommend it? Absolutely, it's, it's a great tool.